Pastor Kim here, day two of our Holy Week liturgies as we are walking with Jesus as he walked deliberately to the cross. And so um, in our liturgies, we're going through uh, John's narrative. And today we're in John chapter 12, 20 to 36. And a couple things come to mind as I read this. One is what happens to the person who loses their life and what might losing my life mean today? And then um, the second question, the second thing that came to mind is how Jesus responds to the expectations of the crowds and the people around him. So let's go ahead and read John chapter 12, verses 20 to 36. And I'm reading in the ESV, English Standard Version. Now among those who went up to worship at the feast were some Greeks. So these came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, and Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. And Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me. And where I am, there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. Now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour? But for this purpose I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. And then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd that stood there and heard it said that it had thundered. Others said an angel had spoken to him. Jesus answered, the voice has come for your sake, not mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now will the ruler of this world be cast out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to show what kind of death he was going to die. So the crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that Christ remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? So Jesus said to them, the light is among you for a little while longer. Walk while you have light, lest darkness overtake you. The one who walks in darkness does not know where he's going. While you have the light, believe in the light, that you may become sons of light. When Jesus had said these things, he departed and hid himself from them. Lord, I just pray that as we take in this scripture this week, that you would anoint our hearts to hear your voice and do what you say. Lord, help us not hold our view of what should be so tightly that we lose spending eternity with you. Lord, help us instead to release our goals, our expectations, and let you show us how you want us to live our life. Let you show us who you want us to be and let you change us from the inside out. Help us to become the people that you created us to be and help us to hear your voice and to do what you say. Lord, I pray as we walk through today that we would walk with an assurance that the God of the universe loves us so much that he wanted to be with us and he sent his son. And I thank you, Lord, for Jesus' life, for his death and his resurrection, that we can walk with you. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you have a lovely day and rest of your week.